A few notes on the nature of vibration. Reciprocating engines, and single cylinder engines in particular, have inherent imbalance. An imbalance causes things to shake. Shaking requires energy. So when we have imbalance, we have a loss of power. The power goes into shaking things. Of course, the best conservation of power in a case like this is to restrain things from vibrating. The force is still there. But if the force isn't dissipated in shaking the object, there is a chance you'll save a little bit of power and maybe even prevent wear and noise to some degree. I have air pressure connected here. I've got the hose pinched off. Let's see. Uh, oh, we want to talk about resonance, critical vibration. That is, as things come up through certain speeds or uh, reciprocations of, of the vibrating force, depending on the mass and the attachment of the object uh, that's affected, you'll get a critical vibration. You'll see what I mean in a moment. I have the engine blocked up on fluffy paper towels so that it can shake freely. So there we are. I've got the hose pinched off most of the way. So it's just ticking over. Let's see if we can make it go find a, a, a critical resonance. Let's increase the speed gradually. And there's the first major resonance point. To laterals, back, back and forth motion. Now as we speed it up, the disturbing forces get to be faster than the resonance period of the weight, the mass of this, this uh, assembly. And the vibrations will seem to stop. They will stop. Most of them. Let's go ahead and let it run full range. Okay, that's about 30 PSI, I suppose. This engine has silent bearings, and that's why you don't hear much noise. The vibrating force is still here. It's just not moving things as visibly as it was. Although this corner here is going up and down, and if I put my finger on this, I get a heavy slapping sensation. The vibration is still there. It just isn't making the thing dance like it was at its critical vibration. And there's the critical vibration. Right there, there's the critical speed. Of course, if the engine is mounted solidly, and you aren't going to see this, and the power that's being wasted right now by this moving back and forth would be largely saved. Okay, there we go. Enough of that. Vibration. Bad vibes. 